Tonight in our series, Quit to Live, Smoking and Children. There is an interesting study out today that says nearly 40% of teens who smoke say part of the reason they started was watching actors smoke in movies. There are, of course, many reasons that kids light up, and all of them surprising since it's hard not to know about the dangers of smoking. We recently sat down with seven teenagers to hear why they smoke and what, if anything, it would take to get them to quit. I'm 18 and I smoke a pack and a half. Five, six, I'm Bobby six, and I day. smoke up to about I'm half a pack. I'm 15 and I smoke a pack a day. I'm 17 and I smoke a pack a day. My name's Amber Bannister. I'm 15 and I smoke about a half a pack a day. I smoke up to half a pack a day. I started when I was like 10. Mm -hmm. Why did you start when you were that young? I hung out with a lot of older people, like kids who were like two or three years older than me. I <laughs> hung out with a lot of old people because of my brother. We knew a lot of people who used to smoke. Yep. Everybody. That's how it happened. You're kind of exed out if you're standing there and everyone else is just right. yeah. passing them back and forth. How many of you guys are starting to already feel the physical effects from smoking? Uh, we oh, I know, so I am. And the morning boy, whoo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I will cough and cough. Yeah. I'm like, but then every, right, as soon as I wake up, as soon as I wake <laughs> up, the first thing I do is grab a cigarette. You have asthma. Yeah. And you're smoking how many cigarettes a day? Um, more than a pack. More than a pack yeah. a day? Did it ever occur to you that maybe the asthma would be better if you didn't <laughs> yeah. smoke? No, that occurs to me all the time, and you don't, you have no idea how, like, st stupid I feel. Like, I, I definitely notice what you're talking about when you wake up in the morning and you just can't breathe. Like, your, your lungs are just shut. Let me see a show of hands. How many of you guys really, truly think you're addicted to nicotine? to smoking. Yeah, I know I'm addicted. I've, I, every day I say I, I want to quit and I can't. So I, I can't because I get headaches from not smoking now. A lot of girls smoke to stay thin. Do you smoke to keep the weight off? Um, that, well, during the summer, this past summer, I lost a lot of weight. And it, it was mm -hmm. through going to the gym, eating right, and smoking. It kept me from going to get McDonald's, going, you know, all those fast food things, it mm -hmm. killed the cravings. Statistics show if your parents smoke, kids are more likely to smoke. Does that ring true to you? For me, it clearly has. There was a really long period of my time, or of my life, when, um, when I was completely against my mom smoking. I looked down at her for it. Me I was so disgusted by it. I'd throw my mom's cigarettes away. Yeah, I used <laughs> to break my dad's cigarettes yeah. and hide his cigarettes from him. Yep. Then a few years later, I ended up stealing them from him. <laughs> How many of you here have somebody in your family who's been sick from smoking? My great aunt smoked for like 60 years. And towards, you know, the end of her life, when I went to visit her, you know, she was on about five breathing machines and the sound was just something that was like a wake up call for me. I was like, don't want to end up like this. Amber, your mom has lung cancer, doesn't she? On like one side of her lung, she has like emphysema, and then like on the other, she has like tumors and stuff. I don't know. I don't like to know a lot about it. I don't ask her about it. She still smokes. Yeah, she does. Let's see a lighter. Statistics show that if you guys all keep on smoking, none of you quit. Three of you here will eventually die of some sort of smoking-related disorder. I hope that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what the statistics show. Does that scare you? Yeah. I yeah. Going out. I mean, th there's only seven of you sitting here. <laughs> well, that shut you guys up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to think about. What would it take? to get you guys to quit right now. Somebody Long would have vacation. to explain to me like oh. how much damage is how much damage has it's done, done so, so far. far and right. if I'm capable of getting cancer within the exactly. next few months, next two years. So only if somebody years. said you might get sick and die from this pretty soon, like yeah, next year. I think that would scare me enough to make me stop. stop. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing short of that? Mm -mm. Everyone says it's not gonna happen to me and I'm yeah. in charge of my yep. own life. Yeah. Not not right. a cigarette. If we were really smart and seeing reality the way it really is, we should have stopped yesterday. Yeah. Because it was yeah. easier to stop yesterday than it will be today.